Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to Juniper Intermediate System to Intermediate System, ISIS Lab Number 3. In this lab, we're going to take a detailed look at ISIS authentication. So the first thing I want to do is explain our network topology. If this looks familiar, this is the same network topology that we used in ISIS Lab Number 2, in which we explained in detail multi-area ISIS. If you are not familiar with ISIS Lab Number 2, I would suggest that you go back and watch that lab but if you are not going to be able to watch that video right now what I'm going to do is I'll just explain the network topology we have three I'm sorry we have five routers router 1 router 2 router 3 router 4 and router 5 router 1 is in area 49.0001 Router 2 and Router 3 are, I'm sorry, Router 2 is in area 49.0024, and Router 4 is also in 49.0024. Router 3 and Router 5 are both in area 49.0035. Router 2 and Router 3 are L1, L2 devices, Router 5 and Router 4 are strictly L1 devices and router 1 is an L2 device. So the links between R1 to R3 and R1 to R2, these are L2. On the other end, between router 2 and router 4, that's an L1 link and between R3 and R5, that's also an L1 link. So we have three areas in this video. What I'm going to show you and explain is ISIS authentication on two different in two different varieties. We're going to show you how to configure ISIS authentication at the level. And then we're also going to show you how to configure ISIS authentication at the interface level. So you can configure it on the whole level itself or you can go more specific and configure it at the interface level. And what we're going to see is that inter if you do ISIS authentication at the interface level, that that is going to take precedence over the per-level ISIS authentication. We are using logical systems in this video for all of our routers. So we have access to one physical Juniper device. We're using logical tunnels to bridge our logical systems together. If you're not familiar with logical systems, you might want to go back and watch my logical systems labs in which I explain in detail how to set them up, what they're used for. The basic function of the logical system is going to allow us to create connections between 